guys, welcome back to my channel. So this past weekend, I was busy decorating for two events. One of those events was a pretty big event. I ended up transforming the whole space. So I'm sorry guys, I was busy last week preparing for my events and that's the reason why you didn't see a video from me, okay? But I am gonna get you guys all caught up this week. So in this video, I wanted to focus on the first event that I decorated this past weekend. It was a bridal shower and guess what the theme was? Tiffany's. I was super excited guys because I've never decorated for a Tiffany themed event and I just love that blue, okay? So let's get into the setup. I'm gonna show you guys how everything turned out and then make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I do have some lessons learned for you. All right, so let's get started.
was the bridal shower let me know in the comments what did you think guys let me tell you i just loved those centerpieces they were super simple but they were also very elegant okay so if you want me to make a tutorial on those centerpieces let me know in the comments, all right? And then I'll be sure to make a centerpiece tutorial probably sometime next month, all right? Now, let me tell you guys what happened with this bridal shower, okay? I'm gonna start to talk about the lessons that I learned from this event. So my client reached out to me early last week just to confirm the details and make sure that everything was on for the bridal shower, okay? Now that's one lesson that I learned from this event. I don't want my clients to have to reach out to me. I wanna be proactive and reach out to them, okay? So from now on, the week of my event, I'm gonna make sure that I'm reaching out to my clients that I haven't talked to in a while just to confirm everything. Because with most of my clients, I talk to them very regularly, so I don't really need to check in with them, but there are some clients that book me and months go by where I don't speak to them, okay? I am so happy that my client did check in with me because she said that apparently the venue had switched management and so originally I had two hours to set up my event. And when she called me, she told me that the venue had changed it to only one hour. So I only had one hour to set up those centerpieces and to set up the balloon backdrop. Now, as you guys know, I do not accept one hour setups, but I was in a really tight position because my client had already booked, right? I wasn't gonna turn down her event just because the venue changed the setup time. I also knew with this event, I was gonna do so much prep work. So I knew that I was gonna blow up my balloons ahead of time. I knew that I was gonna make all of those centerpieces ahead of time. So I was like, okay, we can do the one hour setup. So let me tell you what ended up happening on the day of the event. So I get there an hour before the event, I'm ready to unload and start getting set up. Unfortunately, the venue also mixed up the room. So they showed me the wrong room to set up in. And then when my client got there, she was like, uh-uh, no, this is not the room. So we ended up having to wait until they sorted that out. And that took off time, right, from my one hour setup. So we didn't end up starting to set up until about in half an hour after we got there. So now I'm like rushing, trying to get this balloon backdrop done. Thank goodness this was a repeat client. So they were completely understanding. They were like, it's okay, take your time, we understand. But the event ended up starting late. So the event was supposed to start at 11 a.m. And because of that mix up, it didn't start until 1130. So this is just another reason, guys, why I do not take one hour setups because you really never know what's going to happen. You know, venues make mistakes. There could be traffic. Anything can come up on the day of the event. And one hour is just not enough. OK. All right, guys, so that was the bridal shower. That was all of my lessons learned. I cannot wait to do that theme again. I cannot wait to do a Tiffany's theme again because I just love those colors, right? Those colors are so nice. So if you guys have any questions on the materials that I use to decorate this event, please make sure that you check the description of this video. I do wanna let you know that for the centerpieces, I actually use real baby's breath. So I use fresh flowers, well, some fresh flowers in those centerpieces because I really wanted them to look elegant, okay? But I'll be sure to put all the other materials that I use in the description of this video, okay? If you have any other questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.